are you doing? Hope you had an amazing week. I am Omotayo Alemero, let's I forget, an intellectual property lawyer and a business lawyer. Today, I'm going to talk to you uh, about image rights, yeah? I spoke on um, photographer's rights last week and I mentioned image rights, so I'm going to, this is like a continuation from my last episode. So basically, I'm going to just tell you what rights you have as an individual to your own image. So stay tuned. again thanks for subscribing to my channel thank you very much i really appreciate i'm grateful i'm out. i want to talk about image rights last week i spoke about like i said earlier i spoke about photographers rights this time around what's your own right as an individual when your image is being taken without your permission or even with your permission and being used in a manner you do not um appreciate you do not like this is where image right comes in where your, your photograph is being used in a manner you don't like or without your permission or is used for immoral reasons yeah so you have a right to say no don't use my photograph in this manner or if your photograph or your image is being portrayed um it's being used for commercial benefits actually tell them no you're infringing on my image right but you have to bear in mind that this image right is not um for for those of us in nigeria there's no there's no legislation per se on image rights. However, you can go through your chapter four of the constitution where you have a right to liberty, you have the right to, you have your fundamental human rights. So your right to dignity of human person, you can come under that if someone uses your image in such a manner that you do not like. But for um, international um, purposes, you can check um, the European Convention, Article 8 of the European Convention. It says everyone has a right to a private life and the life has to be respected. So for those who are nosy and in your business, there's a law around it for you. I'm just kidding. But you really, you have a right to privacy. You are entitled to your own privacy. So, so no one can just take your photograph and use for their own benefit, probably use it on a billboard or use it somewhere or use it in a manner that you, you, you can't, you can't, you can't seem to um, be found in that manner ordinarily. You can't, a responsible person being used like for a pornography um, website or something immoral, just be using your image for purposes that you would ordinarily not use it for and without your own permission. There are conditions to this, however, so it's not like you just go around, the ordinary man can't just go around, the ordinary man can't just go around and say, hey, you're using my photo for social social stuff, or my photo is on Instagram for social social stuff. This basically works more for celebrities, and in as much as it works for celebrities, I am not saying right now that an individual like you and I does not have the um, image rights. We all have, but you have to prove certain conditions, which I'm going to highlight right now. For you to prove infringement of your image right, you have to show that the identity of the person is you. you. You are that person. You can't, you know, sue on behalf of somebody else. Like, my picture is being used, and then somebody else comes to say, ah, I want to sue. My image right has been infringed upon. It has, you have to prove that your own identity, you know yourself, you look at the image, it's you. You have to prove that this image is me. The identity, the person in that photograph is me. One. And secondly, you have to show that this image has been used in a manner that's not identifiable with you. You would ordinarily not do this. Like if someone uses my photography for my photograph rather my image on a billboard that promotes um, pornography or pro promotes something immoral or something that I can never ever be caught doing, I would sue them. I would institute an action against them. My rights has been infringed upon. Even in Nigeria, where there is no direct legislation on image rights, I can come under um, fundamental human rights under the Constitution. Let's say um, Section Thirty Seven of the Nineteen Ninety Nine Constitution as amended. I believe for those in America and those in um, European countries you have so many legislations guarding your image rights one other thing you need to know is in Nigeria now in as much as there is no um, legislation on image rights if someone uses their own image registers their image with the Ministry of Trademark 
as a trademark and somebody uses that image maybe for any purpose whatsoever you have infringed on their own trademark so this is even beyond image right right now you have infringed on their own trademark you have, inf you have infringed on the person's um trademark because they use their image like i have um i know a particular store he is head his, his, his image his head is his trademark so if you if you look at shoes made by him um bags made by him you see the head the head is like the logo right the head is the logo and it's a registered i want to believe it's a registered trademark because it's everywhere if it's not registered then they should do well to register that his head is the logo for his brand so imagine somebody using that same head or picture for their own brand you have infringed on their own trademark. so yeah there's a whole lot of um rights you have to your own self but most times bear in mind that celebrities usually win more um suits about image rights compared to the ordinary person the extraordinary the usual everyday person like you and i for more details on your image rights if you want to know more about image rights and if you have further questions Concerning image right and photography right, like I spoke in my last video, do well to send me a mail, book a session, a consultation session with me, my digital lawyer at gmail.com. And if you want to read fully on um, image rights, I, I have an article published on a uh, website, a community which I belong, um, the Fellowship of Abuja. So you can check in their website, www.thefellowshipabuja.org. You can read my article and other articles on that website regarding your intellectual property rights. Don't forget, my hair is from the one and only Divertude. I'm always styled by Divertude. My hairstyle is always on point. Thank you so much, Divertude. I really appreciate it. If you want something like this or any other type of luxury hair, with them check on instagram at underscore divertude underscore thanks for watching this video i hope you found it useful i'm sure you did right okay so till i come your way again next week and before you leave don't forget to hit the subscribe button i have loads and loads of content for you you just have to subscribe to my channel bye bye